خواتین و حضرات اگر کسی وقت ہوا کا دباؤ کم ہو جائے تو آپ کا آکسیجن ماسک خود بخود آپ کے سامنے گر پڑے گا ماسک کو کھینچ کر ناک اور منہ پر رکھ لیجیے اور حسب معمول سانس لیجیے ماسک کو استعمال کرنے سے پہلے سگریٹ بجھا دیجیے اگر آپ نشس پر نہ بیٹھے ہوں تو قریبی نشس پر بیٹھ جائیے اگر بچے آپ کے قریب بیٹھے ہوں تو ان کی مدد کیجیے آپ کے آرام اور تحفظ کے لیے آپ سے گزارش ہے کہ آپ دوران پرواز حفاظتی بند باندھے رکھیں کیونکہ پرواز اچانک ناہموار بھی ہو سکتی ہے حفاظتی بند باندھنے کے لیے میٹل کا چپٹا حصہ بکل کے اندر ڈال کر بند کس لیں کھولنے کے لیے بکل کا اوپر کا حصہ اٹھا لیں برائے مہربانی کرسی کی جیب میں رکھی ہوئی حفاظتی ہدایات کو پڑھ لیجیے اور یہ بھی دیکھ لیجیے کہ ہنگامی حالت میں نکلنے کے راستے کہاں واقع ہیں شکریہ
is 8047 meters, and Geshe Bram 2 at 8035 meters in the Kurakar range at the awesome Darbar or throne of the mountain giants, the Concordia. If you look towards your right, the valley is uh, Kagan. Uh, the mountain that you see on top of Kagan is known as Chambra. Shortly you will to see uh, red huts of Naran, and if you follow it into the valley towards your right, uh, you'll be able to pick up uh, Lake Sabal Maluk and also Malka Parbat, uh, which is right adjacent to the lake. The gentleman coming on your right is uh, Lake Sablamaluk, you can see it in the valley and uh, sitting uh, right behind it uh, is Malka Parbat, which is a stands at 5,000 meters, 16,500 feet. Uh, now we're proceeding towards uh, Naga Parbat, Naga Parbat which will be visible to you on your left hand side following Kanar River. Shortly on your left uh, you'll be able to see uh, Lake Lalusar which is uh, also known as the Horseshoe Lake because of its shape. Alongside uh, the old Silk, silk Route uh, uh, which used to be uh, the route to China before the Kakarom Highway was built. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on this uh, flight, we'll fly you over the Mammoth uh, Baltoro, Biafo, and uh, close to uh, Hesper Glaciers, flowing like massive uh, frozen rivers in between the giant mountains. The Rakaboshi, the Dastagil, Sarv, Haramosh, also in the Karakarams, and of course the Pearson Keller, Naga Parbat, which stands 8,125 meters in the Himalayas. Our, uh, Next flyby would be uh, near Naga Parbat. We'll uh, be climbing to about 24,500 feet uh, after a short while. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, coming into view on the left hand side is Lake Lulusar, uh, which is uh, shaped like a horseshoe, so is the name given uh, to it by the tourists. Alongside the road, uh, which is uh, known as the Old Silk Road to China, you can uh, follow this uh, road alongside River Kunar uh, after Lake Lalusar. You can see uh, this road climbing up on this side of the mountain, descending towards Chalas. The uh, height of this pass is at 30,700 uh, 30, feet, known as Babusar Pass. Ladies and gentlemen, shortly we'll be alongside the Naga Parbat, uh, majestic at 8,126 meters, world's ninth highest mountain, it na means naked mountain in Sanskrit, also known as Devil Mountain or the Man-Eating Mountain. For having claimed the life of several mountaineers, Naga Parbat first climbed uh, on July 3, 1953 by Hermann Bohl, part of a German Austria team, paid the heavy price of lives of 11 climbers and 15 porters to the Kellan Mountain. As it is also called, also known as Diamir, which means the king of mountains and expressive of the size and majesty of this mountain, which is arranged by itself uh, in addition to the main summit. Six summits are above 7,000 meters, the front peak is 7,900 meters, Silver Rakan is 7,500 meters, Rakhiot Peak uh, 7,074 meters. Rakhiot Glaciers flows from the uh, north side, Brisbane Glacier from the south side, and Diamir Glacier from the west side. The Rupal flank, which constitutes the largest and tallest mountain wall in the world. These are also important climbing routes to the mountain. Naga Parbat is the tallest peak of the Punjab Himalayan range of the Greater Himalayas, distinct from the Karakorams. Naga Parbat is the uh, highest uh, mountain in this area of the Himalayas. And this uh, closest cousin is about 2200 mi miles away, that would be in Nepal. Ladies and now we are approaching Naga Parbat. Uh, or uh, the territory of Kashmir under the Indian rule. 
We are approaching the uh, Roper flank towards the left. You can see a wall of mountain, uh, which I told you is the tallest uh, wall, mountain wall there is. And uh, Vizian Glacier should be visible to you in a short while. We are flying uh, towards the south side of uh, Mount Naga Parbat. As I told you, the name is Naga Parbat, they get mounted in San Sibir. The snow never uh, stays on top of this mountain, that is why it carries this name. have a good view of Nanga Parbat, ninth highest mountain in the world, standing at 26,660 feet or 8,126 meters. The next peak that you see alongside Naga Parbat is uh, known as the Rakyot Peak. Behind the Rakyot Peak you can uh, see Rakaposhi, which should be flying uh, by that mountain on our way back. Rakaposhi and then uh, followed by Diran. Behind Rakaposhi is Ultar 1 or Ultar 2. Behind Diran you can see Patura Peak. Gentlemen, if you look towards your right, you can see a plateau, sort of an area, plain area, uh, which is at 40,000 feet, uh, exact, uh, about 12 to 40,000 feet, known as the Dusai Plains, uh, filled with wildflowers in summers, as the storm melts down. We're leaving uh, Naga Parbat, and uh, now we're progressing towards uh, Baltoro Glacier, and uh, also the Karakrams, the amazing and awesome Karakrams which means small black, black rocks, small, well, they're not so quite small. This mighty mountain range is 300 miles long and 60 miles wide. The Karakarams has four peaks greater than 8,000 meters, 133 peaks greater than 7,000 meters, and hundreds of peaks over 6,000 meters, small rocks. Karakarams begin at the Chalenji Pass, southeast of Vakjir Pass, in each group of mountain the, in the range is called the Musdal, which is uh, Batura, Hisper, Panma, Baltoro, Siachin, Primo, Sasir. Each Musdal is named after its major glacier or river system. These seven Musdals are called the Greater Karakrams. South of Hisper Glacier are called the Lesser Karakrams. Even though the elevation of nine is nine of these peaks are over 7,000 meters, which includes the magnificent massive snow-clad Rakaposhi, as well as Haramosh and Malubiti. There are 14 major peaks in the Patura Mustag. There are more than 25 major peaks higher than 7,000 meters in the Hispar Mustag, including the Stagilsar at 7,884 meters, Kanyun Shish, 7,825 meters, Kanjutsar, 7,760, Trevor, 7,720, Presently they are all on your left, but uh, we should, well, I'll be identifying uh, these peaks to you on our way back as we'll be flying much closer to them. Ogre Peak, uh, we are heading towards Ogre Peak now. You'll be able to see that in a short while alongside Biafo Glacier.
towards the right is uh, Skardu Valley, which is visible to us. Uh, the IO page daily flights towards uh, to Skardu. Uh, you can see River Indus. Uh, also, we are crossing River Indus in road. Towards the left, closer to us, is uh, Rodu Valley. The peak that you see that is alongside is uh, Haramosh. Behind Haramosh is Rakaposhi, and towards the right of Haramosh is uh, Diran, later followed by Malubating. And uh, the slanting peak that you see in the end is Spantik. Between Malubating and Spantik is uh, Lela. Behind uh, Spantik, the sloping peak that you see towards the right is Batura, and towards the left is Ultar 1 and Ultar 2 heights. Gentlemen, if you look towards the light, uh, towards your left, uh, you can see Chobo Longma Glacier descending from uh, Spantik Peak. Towards the right of this glacier is Hisper Glacier, which is not visible to us right now. We should be looking at it on our way back. And also uh, the uh, Hisper Mustag, which has a lot of uh, peaks that you'd be interested in seeing. Towards the right is uh, Shigar Valley, one of the valleys uh, opening into Skardu. Skardu is the capital of Baltistan. Uh, it's, a, it's a place which, is, uh, which has everything you can see. Oasis, you can see lakes, you can see desert, you can see forest. Everything is, is uh, that you can think of is available in Skardu. Presently, we're fl uh, flying towards east. Uh, shortly on your left would be Biafo Glacier and the Snow Lake, Mount Ogre sitting right on top of it, 7,082 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, towards the left, you can have a very good look at the Afo Glacier, which starts uh, from the north, uh, that is also known as the Snow Lake area. It's about 68 kilometers long, and uh, it opens up to, towards Chicken Valley and also towards uh, Maldoro Glacier. The peak that you see, the yellowish peak on your left-hand side, roundish on top, is Mount Ogre, stands 7,082 meters. Gentlemen, now uh, we are entering uh, the Baltoro Glacier. Shortly, it will be on your left hand side. Baltoro Mustag, which is the highest and largest Mustag of Karakarams. Four of the summits are greater than 8,000 meters, namely the Primeval Pyramid K2, the second tallest peak in the world, elevation 8,611 meters. Keshav Brahman, also called Hidden Peak, so named because it only comes into view after climbing the Upper Baltoro, 8,068 meters. Keshav Brahman 2, 8,035 meters, Broad Peak, or also known as Palchankangri in its native language. 
at 8047 meters. For a long time, K2 called Chogori in the local multi language, meaning the king considered unclimbable. The depths to summit 1902, 1909, 34, 36, 30, and 1953 also failed. It was finally conquered by Italian climbers Lino Lacelli and H.L. Campignoni in. 1954. I'll be banking the aircraft uh, towards the left, and you can see the Baltoro Glacier towards the left. The yellowish uh, system that you see between two uh, glaciers coming towards us is uh, the Trevor Group and also Trevor Tar, which is visible in between them. That's on the left hand side. I'm telling you about K2. Over 1,500 people have climbed Mount Everest, but less than 200 have managed to summit the mighty K2. 25 peaks in the Baltoro must in the 7,000 meters, including Keshavram 3, 4, 5, and 6. Sikya Kangri, Mustaq Tower, Silver Dome. Skill from Mustaq. The mountain range that you see towards the left is uh, known as the Cathedral. Coming alongside uh, K2 now. Baltoro Mustak is going towards your right. Presently, towards the left is uh, Mustak Tower. I will be turning towards the right as we come out of the bank. We'll be able to see Mount K2 towards your left. It is ladies and men towards the left is Mount K2. The right glacier that is coming down is known as Mount Godwin Austin Glacier, which uh, Below will meet uh, the Prince of, of Rosia and the Wien Glacier forming Concordia. The junction of these glaciers, thrown of these mountain giants. On the left hand side is uh, Mount, uh, is a broad peak, it's also known as Falchen Kangri, followed by Keshebram 4, 3 and 2. And uh, in the end, is Kesher from one. The hidden peak has told you about that you have to climb the upper Baltoro to see this peak. Exactly on your left is Kesher from one. On the left hand side, if you after the Geshebram, the Geshebram uh, 5 and 6, just below the wings, we are crossing uh, Chowalisa right on top of it. In the distance uh, towards the right is Sinka Kangri, which uh, sits on top of uh, the Siachen Glacier. Ladies and gentlemen, you can have a look at uh, Geshe Brahm 1, which is behind us, and then Geshe Brahm uh, 4, 3, and 2. Below us is the junction, which is known as Concordia, which uh, where uh, Mount Godwin-Austin Glacier 
Green Glacier and the Prince of Oprusia Glacier meet. So is the name Concordia. After uh, Concordia, behind Concordia actually, is the Broad Peak, also known as Fulchen Kangri, and uh, then the Majestic K2. K2 is on your right right now. Behind K2 is the staircase, and the area behind K2 is in China. Towards the left, the peak that you see is Mashabrum, which is, stands at 25,550 feet. Mostakh uh, Baltoro Glacier and the Baltoro Mostakh, which constitute the four highest peaks uh, above 8,000 meters. The gentleman on your left is uh, Marsha Broom, which is 25,550 feet towards your right coming in view. The yellowish uh, range is known as the Triangle Group. In between, uh, Triangle Tower is uh, clearly visible. One of these days that you can see each and every uh, peak in its original form. Otherwise, uh, in this area, cloud formation is very fast because of the moisture available and the heat available. The atmosphere. The gentleman we are uh, leaving Baltoro Mustang and we are heading towards Skardu. We will be descending in the Skardu Valley. After uh, descending in the Skardu Valley, the valley will be show, uh, showing around uh, the different parts of Skardu, climbing back, uh, going towards Esper Glacier. The gentlemen, we are descending in uh, Shigar Valley, one of the tributaries to uh, River Indus. We are entering Skirtu very soon from the south side, flows in the mighty river, river Indus, which starts from a small lake called Mansarovar in, in India, and uh, later on joined by Shayok River and the Nebra River flowing in towards from the Kunduz uh, glacier side. Can I have a last look uh, towards the left? You can see uh, K2, Broad Peak, the Keshabram Group, Mashabram. And the end is uh, Chogolisa towards the right behind the uh, two peaks okay, from uh, five and six. Later, closer to us is K6 and K7. Okay, we are, ladies and gentlemen, we are flying uh, in Skirtu Valley. Uh, we overhead uh, River Indus soon. Towards the right in the valley, two hills which are known as the Kidney Hills, and uh, shortly on the left, presently on the left is uh, the Kaplu Valley from where the River Indus is flowing inwards towards Skardu. Another minute or two towards the uh, left would be Satpara Valley, which uh, houses one of the most picturesque lakes. It's uh, Satpara Lake. This valley opens up into deocide plains later on. You can see down below, you can see deserts and forests and lakes and rivers, everything available in this valley. You can see Satpara Valley and Satpara Lake towards your left. The Skardu Airport visible uh, on the left. PIO operates daily flights uh, into Skardu. Gentlemen, we are exiting uh, Skardu Valley. On left, you will be able to see Shangri La. Shangri La Resort uh, visible to you on the left around uh, the lower Kachura Lake. Towards us, if you can pick up the pagoda, you will find a, a white body of an airplane which crashed here a long time ago and uh, was made into a restaurant. Later on, followed by uh, the upper Kachura Lake, 
just uh, leaving the valley and proceeding towards uh, Hesper Mostar. Approaching the area of lesser carocrums, the 7,000 meter uh, peaks all around us. We are maintaining presently 7,400 meters. On the left hand side is uh, Chowo Lomma Glacier, which should be appearing uh, in about 20 seconds. Towards the right, you can have a peak into uh, Hisper Glacier, which flows uh, from uh, east to west towards Hunza River. On the eastern side is the Snow Lake uh, area and uh, the Hesper La or Hesper Pass which joins uh, into the Biafo Glacier that you saw a little while back. Here you can see Chogolungma Glacier which is flowing from uh, Smartek Peak towards River Indus. After Pimaresh that is coming into view on your right hand side, behind is Dasagil Sir which has a flattish top. Towards the left after uh, Haramosh, closer to us is Mount Lela. Here you can see Dasagil Sir towards the right, the flattish top. Uh, which will be followed by Mount Trevor and uh, later on Mohamil Sir. Left under the wing is Smantek Peak from where Chogunoma Glacier is flowing. Behind Smantek, the crescent top is Malubiting. Towards the right, you will be able to see River Hunza and also Karimabad as we make a turn, keeping Malubiting towards our left and uh, Rakaboshi towards our right. On the left is Mantic Peak, also known as the Golden Peak. The color of this uh, mountain this side is golden and it actually shines uh, when the sun is going down. Towards the right, behind, uh, beyond the Hunza River, the, the pyramid that you see behind us is uh, Batura Peak. The flattish top constitutes uh, the Ultar One and Ultar Two Peaks. Left hand side is Malnubuting, on the right closer to us is Diran and uh, in the background is Rakaposhi. Rakaposhi on your right and Haramosh on your left. Uh, now we are leaving uh, this area and uh, we will be flying downstream of uh, River Indus for a while, it was right in the valley. The peak that you see below you on your right is uh, Dumani and in the valley in the end at the corner is uh, the city of Gilgit from where uh, Gilgit river is flowing which is uh, formerly joined by Hunza river. This river comes and meets river Indus and then flows all to the length of Pakistan into the Arabian Sea. On your left hand side you can see uh, River Indus flowing below us. Uh, if you look towards the right, uh, the Rakyard Peak 
uh, which forms the figure of uh, the Sleeping Beauty, uh, it's exactly towards the left of us. The roundish peak that you see, uh, it forms the head, it also forms the nose, the chin, the neck, uh, the bust line, the uh, tummy and the pyramid at the end makes the feet. Uh, we call it the Sleeping Beauty of Northern Area. If you can pick it up, it's exactly on your left hand side. Below it uh, flows the Rakyot Glacier which starts 7,000 meters all the way down to 3,000 meters. There again uh, on the northwestern side of uh, Naga Parbat, visible on your left hand side, uh, the Diamir Glacier or Diamir side. Diamir in the local language means the king. It's flowing towards River Indus, which is followed by the Ropal flank the wall that we talked about on our way in uh, towards Baltoro. Uh, we're coming alongside Chilas, a uh, small town uh, alongside River Indus, right, visible towards the right. Old Silk Route uh, joins uh, from the uh, Konar Valley into uh, Chilas. You'll be able to pick up the road on the left hand side, zigzagging up towards Babusan Pass. It's coming into view now on your left hand side. You can also see a small plane going towards Islamabad on the left hand side, exactly under the wings. Gentlemen, we have uh, coming alongside uh, Naran, and uh, people on the left will be able to see Lake Sabal Malu, which is at 10,000 meters, sitting in the lap of uh, Malka Parbat. So, 5,000 meters later on, uh, the town of Kavan, as we leave the foothills of Himalayas. This takes a full look, visible to your left in the valley, and uh, on top of it is Malka Parbat, city of Naran, or a small town of Naran, rather, visible on the left hand side. The gentleman below. On the left is uh, Chambra and also you can see the town of Kavan alongside River Kunar. Uh, we're leaving the hotels of uh, Himalayas. Uh, we hope uh, you have enjoyed this journey through the rugged ranges of Pakistan with this uh, milky white rivers, massive glaciers, snow-capped peaks and tremendous ice walls. For you have dared to venture, I'm sure there still remains the haunting history, the fear, the challenge of the unknown. We hope this has been an unforgettable journey, one that leaves an undeniable imprint on the soul, exhilarated yet humbled before the might and majesty of the creator of such spectacular splendor and beauty.